Are CBD infused drinks legit? Do they work? I'm gonna try a bunch. It's taking a leak. Talk to an expert. So it's really up to whether or not someone wants to feel that high. We're gonna get into like the science of whether or not these drinks help with things like anxiety or depression or anything like that. All right, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am gonna get um, lit on camera. Okay, so let's let's get into it. What's up, Lexus Olivier Ray here with LA Taco. I've been seeing these CBD infused drinks at liquor stores and grocery shops all over LA. I've tried a bunch of them, they taste really good. So we got a bunch of CBD and THC infused drinks. Um, I think it would make the most sense to start with the CBD drinks because they don't get you high. I wanna see if these drinks you know, calm me down or help with anxiety at all. So we have a recess here. On the front it says calming hemp infused sparkling water. Not bad. Tastes basically just like, you know, a sparkling drink. Next we have these Fraz, and it's an organic iced tea. It says it has 15 milligrams of hemp CBD. <sighs> yeah, I do not like this, okay? <laughs> all right, so those, those are all the, the, THC, uh, the CBD ones that we have, I should say. It may seem to work a little bit better. Let's get into these THC infused ones, which we got at a dispensary in Lincoln Heights called, do you remember what it's called, Nemo? You, I think it was Euphoros. Euphoros. Yeah, I think it was Euphoros. Euphoros. <laughs> yeah, and they had a pretty large assortment of these THC infused drinks. So these are drinks that are intended to get you high. They range in uh, different THC levels, starting at around 10 milligrams and then these go all the way up to 100 milligrams of THC. I think first on the list is I want to try these uh, PBR. I did not know that PBR is in the weed game now. It is such a trip to see big company like PBR, you know, in a dispensary. It just shows how much has changed. I don't even know how to, like, look at this. How do you even open this? It's taking a leak. <laughs> all right, cheers. Okay. That tastes pretty much like a White Claw or you know something like that. So this is the Agua de Flor, and it's a local brand, it says, based here in Los Angeles. Okay, so that's, you know, really sweet for me, I would say. I, I wouldn't know that it has 100 milligrams of THC, though. All right, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, from Manzanita Naturals. Again, just straight THC. This is on the lower end as well. Mmm, that's good. I like that. It tastes like a, a ginger beer. Again, can't really taste the THC. This is a, a lighter one, but I would say this is maybe my favorite so far. I think it's a, uh, they're called Blackout. <laughs> Very sweet, tastes like a lemonade. A little too sweet for me. And I can say at this point that I'm starting to feel the THC a little bit. <laughs> it's definitely creeping up on me. So this is like a crazy 100 milligram THC shot or double shot, triple shot, I guess. Oof. Yeah, not really a fan. This is super concentrated. Last but not least, we have a sparkling tequila. So this is alcohol infused. <laughs> now, the trick with this is because there's alcohol in it, legally, the company is not allowed to also um, infuse it with THC or CBD. So this is infused with terpenes that sort of mimic the flavor profile of uh, different cannabis strains. So as if the THC wasn't enough, now I'm gonna have a sip of alcohol. Not bad. It's not sweet at all compared to any of the THC drinks that I tried. All right, so I just tried about eight different beverages uh, ranging from CBD infused drinks, THC infused drinks, and alcohol infused drinks. I'm joined by Alex Harris, a CBD and I believe THC expert. Um, Alex, do you mind just introducing yourself and talking about your background a little bit first? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I currently am the Cannabis Science Advisor for Takuna Lam. 
Um, but I also work in extraction right now. So I sell supercritical CO2 um, extraction instruments. But before that, I worked in cannabis testing. So that's how I got into the industry formally. I was working in cannabis testing labs here in the San Fernando Valley. Um, and between those two labs, I tested about 50% of the products on the market. So that got me really familiar with all my favorite brands and, and the quality of their output. But in between testing and what I do now, I worked in cancer and immunology research. So I have kind of a broad background. I have a biology degree. Very, very cool. Um, thanks again for you know your time. I guess I'll start off with just kind of a broad question. Um, some of these CBD infused drinks say they're infused with CBD, some say hemp. So what's, what's the difference between CBD and hemp? So CBD is one of the cannabinoids that can be found in hemp. Um, hemp is usually what's called broad spectrum. Uh, the reason they call it broad spectrum is that it has to have less than 0.3% delta 9 THC. So that's what differentiates it from cannabis uh, proper, I would say. <laughs> Uh, but CBD and hemp are kind of synonymous because most CBD products are formulated with hemp um, and they're not really specifying what other cannabinoids are in there. There are some things that are made with CBD isolate where that would be the only cannabinoid in the product, but that would be, I would say less frequent than what you would see in terms of the, the larger CBD hemp market just because that has kind of exploded into the wellness space and even gas stations. Okay, and then generally, how does um, CBD impact things like anxiety or depression? Because I've spoken to a lot of people um, that have told me anecdotally that they feel like these drinks calm them down or help with anxiety. Um, even myself, I've, I've had a few and I mean, I, I consume a lot of cannabis, so it's a little bit tough to, to tell, I think. but. I don't know, there is something about them that feels kind of common. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, in recent years, there's been an explosion of cannabis research and with that, uh, an explosion of cannabis research in psychology. And the indications that we've gotten in the last five years or so from CBD are very good. And I found a really good systematic review of some preclinical studies by Dr. Roger, it was edited by Dr. Roger Pertwee, who's a big name in cannabis research. 16 out of the 18 studies proved that it was reducing of the participants' anxieties. Um, the thing is that's preclinical, so that's animal models. Oh, and to answer your antidepressant question as well, within there was an interesting study within that review about um, it being comparable to fluoxetine, which is Prozac. And they found that 20 milligrams of CBD is comparable to Prozac. Wow. So, really cool study on that front, because antidepressants are, I feel like, yeah, they're, they're tough. So in the human studies that I looked at, there was another systematic review of six human studies. And 79% um, of patients in one of the studies reported a decrease in anxiety. So that's another really significant statistic. Um, and I was looking into dosing. That's something that always has interested me about these CBD products is, okay, if you're gonna drink a beverage that has 20 milligrams of CBD, how effective is that? Well, that one study proved that that's the same as an antidepressant, right? But in terms of the anxiety, they actually see this weird bell curve response. So um, a few studies used a range of about 150 milligrams to 600 milligrams of CBD. And they found the best results at 300 milligrams. Mm -hmm. So people that were taking 150 milligrams or 600 milligrams actually had their anxiety increase. Uh, okay. So there's a weird effect of CBD here from person to person based on dosage as well. So figuring out your ideal dose for reducing your anxiety with CBD is very important. So you don't want to go like overboard and get too stoned. It could actually cause you to become even more anxious, you're saying? Yeah. Um, and actually there is some concern with taking too much CBD. So if you're on any other medication and you take a large dose of CBD, that can change your blood serum concentration of whatever other medication you're taking. And that can be dangerous in some cases. Um, okay. Yeah. So it sounds like it does have an impact on anxiety, but do these drinks have enough CBD in them to have an impact on, on, on people? And that's going to depend on the person. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Based on the studies I've seen, the lowest was that 20 milligram dosing. I would say with CBD, you have to up the dose a bit. When it comes to those THC drinks, on the other hand, definitely 10 milligrams needs to be your top. I mean, that's the legal the legal limit, so. Really? Oh, 
Well, we got a, we got a couple that are 100 milligrams. Do they have a way for you to dose them out into smaller doses? Probably. <laughs> That's how they get away with that. Okay, so you're not really supposed to just down one of these, you're supposed to- No. <laughs> so back in the day, especially in the medical market, they had like these lemonades that were 200 milligrams that were just my favorite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they don't, they don't do that anymore. Oh wow, okay, didn't know that. One thing that I've heard with uh, CBD is that um, it works better with a little bit of THC in combination with the CBD. So it's really up to whether or not someone wants to feel that high. You know, if you think that THC plus CBD is superior to just CBD, that means you like THC <laughs> um, because CBD is a completely different high. Okay, so it's not ne it's not necessary, but some people prefer THC with CBD. Yeah, it's a, it's a personal choice. There is a lot of you know evidence to the entourage effect being more beneficial to the body overall, which makes sense. It's like taking a full range of compounds from a plant that's evolved for millions of years to provide nutrition, basically, um, and and sparsing it into individual cannabinoids. Of course, that's not gonna be as efficacious in terms of healing people or helping people, right? It just doesn't make sense. Um, so the full spectrum argument is very valid. So I don't wanna take away from that at all. Okay. I, I think that that's very important. One question I had, and I'm not sure if you can answer this, but a lot of these drinks also contain a lot of sugar in them, uh, especially the THC ones. And um, I'm not really a fan of sugar, but I was wondering if sugar has any sort of an impact on like either CBD, the way your body responds to CBD or THC. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think that that's a big problem in the edibles market in general. And the main reason that they'll use so much sugar is to mask up the taste of the extract. All right, cool. Well, um, great talking to you. Uh, I might hit you up again in the future. We're trying to do more cannabis content, so. Cool, sounds great. Thank you so much. It was cool to talk to you too. I appreciate it. Cool, enjoy the rest of your day. You too, bye. Bye. All right, so we tried all these drinks. We talked to an expert. What did we learn? We learned CBD does help with things like anxiety. We learned that these higher dosage ones, they have a lot of sugar because there's more THC. They're trying to mask the flavor. I personally like the PBRs and then this ginger beer, the fizz. Um, I thought that this uh, CBD infused iced tea is pretty much undrinkable as is the five hour energy of THC. Let us know what you think. Does it help with anxiety? What did you like best? <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> Do it, say it. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and like. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah. And become an LA Taco member oh. so we can continue to uh, drink these beverages. <laughs>